my deputy, Dr. Robert Monda, the senator, the county commissioner, and members of the security team, speaker of the county assembly, members of the county assembly, members of the executive committee, and the staff of Kisi County. Our esteemed servants, men and women, religious leaders, and all other sectors. Ladies and gentlemen, before I read my speech, I wanted to do a quick recap on what my good friends, Senator Mumaima and the Honorable Zaire Janda say. I want to confirm here today that my brother Zaire Janda, the first meeting we had at the growth time of, in this field, which we Janda, Nataka Nishkuru kwa sababu wewe umekuwa pamoja nasi. Vile vile mwishmiwa chanda, nataka ni kurudishe shukrani sana. Kwa sababu, kuikuwa na shamba ambao mlikuwa muna pijana na kiamana liopita. Kule ATC ambao ni shamba laka. Ambao likuwa mepewa na Lands Commission. Lakini kwa kuungia na wewe, mwishmiwa chanda, alipeana shamba ilo liwe kwe hospitali ya kansa. Asante sana nubiyama. Uh, Mambo ya diplomacy ndiyo mimi nisomea na najua kombo mbili ya kukungia na kila umoja. Asante kwa kutupea lile shamba. Pili, nataka ni tuwe shukran zangu kwa sababu tulikuwa tumeongea na account commissioner. Kwamba tunayitaji mzia mbetu hapa. Na in the supplementary budget about a kwa nayo to take a feather za kwanza msia mfile. Nikubalia nisome speech yangu niposa nipiane mwilekeo wana inchi wa tukufu. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to express my great pressure today as I join my fellow citizens of our county to commemorate this very important day in our national calendar. Mashuja Day is a day set aside to recognize and commemorate the great heroes and the ranks, gallant men and the women, both alive and those who have gone before us, whose sacrifice has contributed immensely the freedom which we enjoy today. Ladies and gentlemen, first, let me take this opportunity to express my gratitude as I join you in the marking of Masujane, an important day in our national calendar. Kisi County is featured prominently on the Kenya map as one of the regions that have been and continue to be home to national heroes. It is from this region that senior provincial administrators, such as Musa Nyandusi, Awen Kimoina Gichana, Zakaria Ngwenye Ooga, Asha Onyego, among others, who in the past served our great nation as senior chiefs have hailed from. Our political leaders, who among them, Simeon Yecha, George Anyona, Sakari Onyonka, among others, will forever be remembered for their diligent service to our county and the country. I salute them. Ladies and gentlemen, the list of our heroes will not be complete without the mention of Kenyan's international footballer, 
10 a remote ago. And the World Athletics reigned 5,000 meters champion, Helen Oberi, Yabes Yundieki, Yantika Miyoro, among other many others, Julius Wako, Hezron Mokamba, Stanley Kogoro, and all these other people have won either silver, gold, medals, all of them. Thomas Osano, Jafet Machuka, Oanda Kerochi, Jacqueline Torori, Gilbert Okari, Nansu Mwenga, Eunice Gasagero, Julius Yonderi, Evans Mayaka, Aper Gesemba, Peter Monyanja, Joel Yonunga, Charles Obogi, Toch Mochache, Melen Mugaka, Aberi Odenyo, Owen Magori, Firis Ongori, Valentine Orale, Douglas Mumani, Grace Mumani, Jane Omoro, Benjamin Orina, John Wako, Sam Nyakincha, Ondoro Osoro, Mary Mora, Irene Mugaka. The liberation of the the liberation story of Otenyo Yamantere, a brave Kisia warrior who held our community wage war against the colonialists. Way before the Mau Mau movement decades later will not as well be forgotten. But account commissioner, when you guys from Central, you are happy of the Mau Mau. We had our own Otenyo who went ahead and confronted the colonialists before the Mau Mau was in place. These brave men and women have and continue making our county, our country, proud. Today, we celebrate our leaders, tells farmers, teachers, businessmen, our workforce in the civil service our men and women in uniform, and everyone whose hard work and effort not only feed, clothe, and house families, but also ensure our children access affordable education. Ladies and gentlemen, away from the makers of our nation, our county is still facing challenges. Our nation has faced since Kenya attained self-rule. Millions of our people are still unable to access affordable health care, education, and safe and clean water with poverty level at all time high. In their wisdom, the framers of the, our constitution took note of the above challenges. Through this realization, the clamor for a new constitution aimed at bringing service closer to Mwananchi kicked in, resulting in the 2010 Constitution. Ladies and gentlemen, today's gathering has been postponed by the 2010 Constitution, which has enabled it to devolve crucial government functions that now allow our people to engage in a nation building while sharing the national cake. Close to two months ago, during our inauguration as the second county administration, we informed the nation we had inherited a rundown county, one built on chronism and personal connections at the expense of development and service delivery. Ladies and gentlemen, in the past month, my administration commissioned an audit on the human resource capacity of our county. The audit revealed glaring gaps that now calls for strengthening our payroll system and a close scrutiny of the county's human resource infrastructure. We can now continue to run, we cannot continue running a county where cartels are running multiple payments accounts. Staff have different national identity cards that do not match their tax pins. In one case, 
one ID numbers produced 192 PIN numbers. That shows how our state or resource in the human resource management is. Not staff continue drawing salaries without the request qualification, among other shocking findings. Ladies and gentlemen, the cancer of corruption has not only affected the county's human resource department, but has spread its tentacles to the procurement sector of our administration. The county government is facing pending bills running into billions of shillings, with some of the payment questionable and an outright attempt to steal from the taxpayer. My administration has flagged 67 payment claims submitted for payment after discovering they were all ghost roads construction works. To this end, I have instructed the setting up of a pending bill committee to interrogate pending all pending payment. I wish to assure contractors and the suppliers that those who have engaged in engineering work shall be paid, but for those who have not shall not be paid and must be subjected to the law. Ladies and gentlemen, my administration has commenced internal administrative action to rectify these anomalies, lining with national government directives to all 47 counties that call for strengthening county payroll systems. I've started in the past. This is not a wee chance, but a deliberate step towards ensuring we have in place an efficient county service. Ladies and gentlemen, we made a convent or convent with our people during our grueling campaign. We assured our people that we will not only keep the covenant, but see to it that the pillars of covenants is anchored on, namely devolution, governance, wealth creation, sustainable developmental conservation, and social development, enablers and ICT stand. As we settle into office, my administration has made a deliberate effort to align the county integrated development plan to mirror the five pillars in our manifesto. Ladies and gentlemen, my administration promised to bring order to border border sector. And I now there are now I know there are mamas about the speed at which this is taking place for our border borders operators to realize meaningful dividends from their business. We must restore order. Restoring sanity to this sector and weeding out rogue elements help bent on tarnishing this sector's good name. We must do it. There are political elements I know inciting border borders operators by exploiting their unmet reverences. My administration is keenly paying attention to this act of law and business. No effort will be spared in expo ex exposing those out to find chaos and protecting the border border sector from selfish political schemes. I did promise, as my brother indicated earlier, indeed, and I want to reiterate what Sagero said that border borders and I'll make it possible for our young people engaged in that meaningful business. Ladies and gentlemen, we are keen to leverage on agriculture sector, which is a key driver of our economy. 
and make it an ultimate means to employment, wealth creation, and food security. Our focus as a government is to build the local economy by encouraging investment in value addition and cash crop farming, making available agricultural subsidies and agricultural extension services, all aimed at improving the quality of our agriculture, agricultural production. To spur agricultural production, my administration is laying particular emphasis on the driving of industrial cash crop whose production has taken a hit for my decades. Ladies and gentlemen, to rebound the coffee sector, my administration will work closely with the coffee society through the Gusi Farmers Coffee Union aimed at boosting the coffee production. We must, as a county, give attention to agro-processing, branding, and marketing in the coffee sector once billed as the black coal. Ladies and gentlemen, as you may be aware, Kisi County in the past been hailed as a leading peripheral county, which my deputy mentioned earlier. My administration is determined to have our county back on the Kenya map as a region that produced high quality peripheral. Recently, we held a very fruitful engagement with the leadership of the Varietra Processing Company of Kenya, PPCK, with a view of relaying farmers in the potential areas of Kisi to once again impress the noble future. The, PPC, the, the, the PPCK promised to give us 120 kgs of seedlings, which we are going to give to ATC to start the nursery for our people. Ladies and gentlemen, the, operation, the operationalization of banana processing factory, the avocado processing plant at Kisi Agricultural Training Center, and the intended setting up of a sugar cane processing plant and the substance value addition plant in South Mugrango will go a long way in addressing all our critical agricultural sector within the borders of our county. Ladies and gentlemen, turning on the health sector, it's important for us to get this one clear. Turning on the health sector, my administration will undertake to train and equip all our health facilities to attend to emerging medical challenges facing our people while at the same time improving quality medical care they receive. This can only be possible if those charged with the responsibility of running our medical facility are made accountable while in line of duty. Ladies and gentlemen, as a first step among many aimed institutional efficiency in service delivery, in all health facilities. My government has introduced digitalized drug receipt, distribution, and dispensing system to curb the theft of drugs at the medical centers and sub-counties hospitals in the county. The pilot program that has so far registered remarkable success has also forced the this is important. Crush of several illegal drug stores in the county. I got information from one of the sub counties that a number of those chemists they have been closed down because they could not receive the drugs which they used to receive from the stolen ones from our stores. The supply of stolen drugs to the stores has been curbed by teachers pilot system that is on operational we will stop at nothing until we ensure that drugs meant to help our people 
reach them and not end up in the hands of corrupt individuals. Ladies and gentlemen, among us is a group of women and men who have traversed the county, tending to the medical needs of our people, unable to access medical facilities due to distance and other emerging challenges. Community health, health workers, our heroes and heroines, have gone out of their way to attend to urgent critical medical cares, cases. My administration pledged to have this team placed on a stipend and incorporated into our medical care system in the long run. I wish to announce that starting November, the group of brave and selfless heroes and heroines will access a stipend to enable them to discharge their duty efficiently. Ladies and gentlemen, our county faces an immediate and pressing challenge of clean and affordable water supply system. I recently sanctioned the management of the Gusi Water and Sanitation Company, WASCO Board of Directors, who are with us here today. I wish to call upon the Water Management Body to urgently exploit and address the acute shortage of water supply by ensuring resumption of water supply to residents of Kisi Municipality and its environment. Ladies and gentlemen, there are challenges in the water sector have been characterized by infighting among the members of the Water Management Board. Only last year, the county government of Kisi missed out on the two billion grant as the members of the Water Management Board, WASCO, fought over party of 91 million of COVID money. These men and women were busy fighting for 91 million. When the grant came in, this money was diverted to a neighboring county. A sad story, but I'm happy that we have restored order in Wasco to deliver. We are weighing, I know, we have around 120 million, which money if we don't utilize by the end of the month, we'll go back to the fund. I've spoken to my counterpart, Ninyamira, we have agreed. As long as you come up with a proper budget of the spending of 120 million, we will release those monies before the end of the month so that our people, they are connected to water. I'm happy to report that the wars have ended and the Water Management Board has gotten down to business. I wish to call upon the resident of Kisi County to take advantage of water connection program to be rolled out in November to apply for water connection services as we rush to have more people connected to the pipe to water supply. Ladies and gentlemen, my government will undertake, among other interventions, the construction of an additional of 35 kilometers distribution pipe to water. Additional areas of Suneka, Yamataro, Matongo, and Kyogoro. The residents of Iyabe, Yaguta, Yabioto, Motonto, Kerina, Mogumo, Igonga, Yasonso, Mosocho, Jogo, Mwembe, Nyakoe, Ekisa, Minyinkwa, and Mubaracho are also set to benefit from this project. My administration pledged to only, not only to improve our overall education standards as county, but also to ensure the quality of education we offer our children meets the demands of the job market. In this report, the administration has rolled out bursary program for needy students, but bright in all our wards, the kitty of three million per ward will see 
the numbers of families seeking education funding a break from the past. May administration work closely with the elected leaders of the county assembly, county education administrators, and the residents of who will now sit in the education committee to ensure a fair distribution of the resources. In my supplementary submission to the assembly, I intend to bring up this sharing of three million for every ward, members of the county assembly, so that this money can help our people. And please, we help them. Leave the roads to me, I'll do them. For the bursary, you guys, you must help me to sort out, because there are many children at home who are not going to school. Ladies and gentlemen, turning the pressing issue of street actions that continue to be of concern of my administration, my, act, my government will impact on a rehabilitation program for the street families by first renovating rehabilitation centers, domicile in the county before relocating the family there. Rehabilitation efforts will include training the street families and equipping them with skills and tools to enable them to engage in a meaningful income generating business venture. Ladies and gentlemen, waste management and the functioning sewer system remains one of our biggest challenges as a county. The relocation of ongoing the location of the ongoing Nyambela dam site is one of the many steps to address the county waste management issue. In the next two months, the administration will transform the Nyambera dam site into a recreational park. As our county moves towards creating more recreational spaces for our people, that's the only way we can attain the status of a city. If we must open all roads which have been encroached, all spaces which have been grabbed, we'll reclaim them for us to start looking into forward many other steps that we'll make. We cannot address the matter of water sanitation without addressing the water towers. Our forest cover continue to play a significant role in the water ecosystem and it must be protected. My administration is alarmed by encroachment cases in our forest and riparian land. To protect these natural resources, my administration wishes to ask those who have encroached on the spaces or their forest land to vacate and allow its restoration. This is non-negotiable. We shall seek to involve community around the forest, land, and environmental protection and conservation. In conclusion, the task ahead of us of turning around the economy, economic fortunes of our people is not only enormous, but challenging. Paramount is the support from our development partners, national government, and other key stakeholders my administration will rely on, on to you actualize our service delivery and development agenda. As my administration aims at finishing the construction works in this study by setting aside that six million for the completion, I wish to inform the general public that my administration is willing to work closely with the national government and all other county government for our county to realize the Kenyan dream. Back to the, this field, I want to tell you the people who are working in this field, people who are working on this track, they are dexterated. The measurement of this track from 5,000 to 7,000. Until the other day when I asked that people who are helping, they did measurement for this fill, this truck. They found it is 5,000 square running meters. 
not 7,000. And I've asked the QS to revise because they wanted to eat from the 2,000 extra square meters they had added. The field is that we are projected to take 100 million, but out of the constructions and the constructions of their documents, we have found that it will take only 36 million on the remaining on retainer wall. In the supplementary, members of the county assembly will submit also those estimates for us to get that 6 million to finish resetting the stadium. In conclusion, as my administration aims at finishing the construction of this stadium, we want to assure the president of Kisi that we are going to work tirelessly around the clock to make sure our people are benefited from the vote they casted in the bar box. Allow me to say this in Swahili, as I'm coming to the end, Dugu Watukufu, Wanainchi Watukufu, Nataka Nirudie Kwa Kiswahili Daika Moja Pekia. Mimi Kama Kavana Wenu, Tafanya Kazi Pamoja na Serikali Ku. Kwa kisha kwamba tumeleta maendeleo kwa wananchi wetu. Siasa imeisha. Mwishmiwa William Samuel Ruto ndiyo rais wetu sasa. Kwa miaka ingine tano. Mungu akimjalia. Tutafanya kasi kwa mwaja na ee. Na nataka niseme. Mnajua mimi si muonga. Mimi ni mkamavu kwa kazi ya serikali ya mawa mepewa. Na nta kikisha mji wetu umefikia kiwango cha kuwa asiti. Ni kubalie tafadhali. Ndugu zangu, ndugu zangu wale abao ni wanaboda boda, wafanya biashara, tuwa kishe kwamba tumetengeneza mji wetu. Tumefungua barabara zote. Tumepata biwanja maali watu wanapumzika. Mimi nataka niwaulize mniachie ni pambane na wale wezi ambao kazi yao ni kuhakikisha pesa zimeingia kwa county wamepitisha katika county za za county na wameiba kazi yangu ni kupambana na wao niko na nguvu ambazo zitumiki na naomba kwamba mnikubalie the energy which is not used their idol energy I'll put it in place na mnisamee tafadhali mahali nitakwenda kinyume na matarajio yenu lakini kwa sasa mimi ni mzaliwa wa hapa nitahakikisha madawa ambayo nilikuwa nime promise yamefika hospitalini nitahakikisha na nataka niwaambie ndugu zangu na dada zangu kwa wakati huu tuendelee kumuomba Mungu mzee Omanga, ni mzee, mzee omanga Mwa, Mzee wa miaka tisina mbili Lakini ni mchapa kazi Ako na miaka tisina mbili Lakini shambalake anachuna Na anapata karibu elfu miambili Kila mwezi Huyo mzee Wewe jee Amba huko na miaka shirini Therathini Unafanya nini katika kuinua uchumi wetu Katika county yetu Nataka ni malizee hapo kukua za nyote tafadhali. Ndio shirikiana kwa moyo. Nataka nishukuru bwana county commissioner. Najua kwamba kutakuwa na vitina. Eh, kuna watu wanataka kusema oh sisi unajua ama mapi my brothers are here jana. Huyu ni mwana Kenya kwanza. Amekuwa katika mstari wa mbele kuhakisha kwamba tuko pamoja. Bwana county commissioner. Any element of criminality let us forge together to make sure we have rooted it. Watu ambao walipiga kura, ambao walitupigia mimi, nikiwa wakwanza, 
Mheshimiwa Machoko akiwa wa pili nilipata kura 1270. Mheshimiwa Machoko akapata 1080. Mheshimiwa Manson 1030. Mheshimiwa uh, Obure 1090. Mheshimiwa Profesa Karibu 1030. Nataka niseme kwamba hizo kura zinahitaji zifanywe kazi. Wewe mmoja wa wili amwezi simama barabarani wakati gari limejaa na watu 1300 na kitu ambao walipiga kura tutatembea juu yako ndugu yangu dada yangu lazima tuache kazi ifanyike nataka nimalizie hapo kwa kuwaomba nyote ndugu zangu na dada zangu tushirikiane tufanye kazi tuijenge nchi yetu kwa miaka ingine tano wakati tutaenda kuuliza wananchi ndugu zangu ma MCA tutafanya kazi pamoja na nyinyi tutaachia kuomba na nyinyi kwa sababu mnahitaji kurudi mara ya pili lazima mfanye kazi pamoja na mimi ndipo sasa tujaribuliwe mara ya pili kama hawa watakubali kwa hivyo naomba tushirikiane pamoja tuachie kwamba tume, tumelinda mali ya wananchi nataka niachie hapo nashukuru nirudishe mike hii kwa ndugu yangu ACC ndipo sasa kwamba rais amemaliza speech yake kwa hivyo tunashukia hapo tupate speech ya mheshimiwa rais asanteni na Mungu awabariki asante sana mheshimiwa gavana